Hey Taurus, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's good. It's me, Wes. Okay, so Taurus, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, what I'm doing is um these readings, I am channeling what we need to work on so we can reach our highest potential so we can get to those goals that we've been trying to manifest for the longest and so with that being said spirit is saying um for you guys to work on communication now you're taurus you're the second house which speaks on a uh, value you know your worth so you're not for anybody's bullshit and i get it but spirit is saying work on your third house which is communication and how you speak how you talk um we'll get into that with just a second but that's that's the main key right here also i want to let you know your color right now is orange your aura is green um green the green chakra is the heart chakra and so speaking with a loving heart uh truth and clarity it's okay to be honest but definitely in a respectable way um spirit also wants you to get in alignment for your soul's assignment clean it up um i heard controlling um i'm, I'm picking up bossy is right now so Taurus with that being said um definitely how you speak to people I heard tarnish your name um some of you may have a bad rep and it's because that that tongue is swift and and I get it because I'm a blunt individual so some people feel like I'm an asshole and I'm really not I'm very genuine and loving so um but you know hey <laughs> everybody's not used to that blunt tongue and so Taurus right here spirit wants you to clean it up they would like you to clean it up because you're blocking many blessings okay so um And this is what I was meditating on all this um, with the truth and clarity and getting alignment for your soul's assignment. God has big things that he wants you to accomplish and get done. Everything that you've been trying to manifest and the things that God would like you to do. Um, you're being stopped at this very moment. And it's not to um, piss you off. It's to get an understanding, a better understanding, get things under control. I heard mouthpiece again. Taurus, I, I don't know any Tauruses. I don't. Do I? I don't, I don't know. Because, see, you know, I, I, it is what it is to me. You're, if you're blunt, hey, hey. Yeah, see, the world card, you're very protective of your energy. And I, and I get it. You're very closed off. Oh, I also heard don't like people. I said, damn. <laughs> I was like, okay, some of y'all are just not for people. And y'all be like, these motherfuckers get on my nerves. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a lot of energy. But, and it's, and if it, take it where it resonates. Because if this don't resonate with you, your energy is so different. Then this reading is not for you. This is for the Tauruses that are just like, I'm not for it today. I'm not this and snap. But, you know, we all got to be in good energy and i feel like this 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 energy has a lot to do with the pain I, i'm hearing pain and suffering um suffering in silence yeah you have that our uh the high priestess right here which is that that inner self i'm hearing inner calling too you have a calling and some of you may be scared to to reach this so it's a lot of fear that's um being put out and so um you want to go for the goal, but you're having a hard time doing that. So it's kind of like maybe spirits feeling like you're lashing out at people sometimes. But let's keep shuffling and see what's going on. The three of wands. Yeah, some of y'all may feel like you're stuck and you're waiting and your goals haven't come along yet. But the communication. And it's just not how you speak to people. It's sometimes y'all are not speaking enough. And not, you know, communicating um, with what you want. And that communication, that could be to anybody. Hell, that could be to God, you know, saying, okay, God, I want this. He knows what you want, 
but it's a matter of asking for things and being polite and speaking from the heart and being truly honest with what you need you know ten of swords self-sabotage this is what I, I really feel this is you know sometimes we get stuck in our ways and um it's like damn because uh the taurus yeah i think y'all are one of the fixed signs yes so i so i got my little my little cheat sheet back here with the fixed signs on this area i had to double check but definitely we do get stuck in our ways and it's like hey um i don't want this to change but you have to be open-minded and open to change because um where everything feel like it's probably coming down it's like okay hey it's time to release this negativity release these swords release all this stuff five 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 on the clock right now which speaks of change moving forward things you know new things to come let me move this out the way all right Bear with me, y'all. These cards need to... I think. You got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And this Ace of Cups... This Ace of Cups speaks about love. And it's like you're in this whole energy of fuck love. I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. Fuck people. It's just in this energy. So, I don't know. This past... I heard harboring the past... Okay, so let me see what at the bottom of the deck. You got the Knight of uh, Pentacles. Ooh. So let's just let's just point out the past. Whatever happened in the past, that was a learning lesson, and I know it hurt. But it's time to move forward because see, you're blocking off a lot of stuff, and so when we're in this blocking energy and our heart chakra is blocked, baby, that's that that's that's the middle. That's that main vessel, 7-Eleven on the club. <laughs> like, baby, when we this is how we operate. This is how we manifest coming from that loving energy. And so it's time to get back to that. Notice, um, start noticing your triggers, right? Get a spiral, write things down. Definitely spend time to yourself, quality time, and meditate. Because sometimes we can project that negativity onto other people and we're not even trying to. Um, so definitely, um, I heard love offers. But I feel like you're blocking off a lot of blessings. It's being in this 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 funk, this this energy, like where you're you're feeling like you're done with people, and it's not it's it's not the end of the world. You know, things happen, and like I said, things keep spiraling in a negative uh, way. Cause that's what I'm picking up on. Everything's going down. That ten of swords is you're exhausted. You keep trying and you keep trying and you keep trying, but you get frustrated so quick and it's like, damn. Okay, what are you really mad at? What has really pissed you off? And I feel like this relationship that ended bad for you has a lot to do with it. On top of you feel like nobody is giving you love. You're opening up. You're being um, genuine. But soon as you get mad when you get mad you get pissed off it's not like you're just mad and you can cool down easy it's like you're angry and people it's, it's even hard to for some people to cool you cool you down and it's like damn you know you just kind of shut off and it's like spirit saying don't do that operate different change your perspective of things when things happen they're happening for a reason rejection is protection so where you may feel like you wanted this relationship to work out that was a learning lesson don't be so giving you know and so quick and so fast and because we do when we you know when we give and we love baby everything you can have it all you know so uh it was 9 11 on the clock when i said that definitely definitely take your time and be patient be patient with you and be patient with others what else spirit <clears throat> two of cups Definitely your love life. Definitely a relationship. Uh-oh. Now these cards is thick. This is a good deck, though. You got the two of pentacles, which is like it's complicated energy. It's just juggled. It was a lot going on with the knight of wands. The knight of wands, it speaks of like that fast, quick energy. And I just said something about going too fast with, you know, relationships and just, you know, going for the gold. Because sometimes people are not ready for your love, Taurus. Like, <laughs> they just not. 
the kind of love that you give and the kind of love that you express and when you love is genuine it's from the heart is it's pure and it's honest and so sometimes that make people scared because they're not ready for this type of love you know unconditional love they're not ready for all that next you have the four pinnacles it's like this is where you wishing that you should have held back like damn don't blame yourself for this relationship shit happens you know everybody everybody's taking a hell in some in some part of your life with a relationship it's like you wish you would have just held back and kept it moving this king of wands is it, it speaks of taking action you know you you got in this relationship where it was complicated it happened fast and you feel like you should have just held back from this individual and kept it moving forward you feel like if you would have kept it moving forward your life would be more abundant than what it is now you'll be more happier with somebody else but no you stopped and whatever attracted you to that relationship is what attracted you to that relationship or person place or thing whatever this this cup is i really feel like it's just a relationship from the past though but i mean hey um and so now it's kind of like i hurt resentment you have resentment towards everything it's not just this this person it's it's everything in your life right now so it's it's definitely um i heard bitter i heard awakening to the soul death this the endings everything i heard tragic things happen bad um i heard life just spiraled out of control but see I don't feel like Taurus, you're noticing the good in this situation. And mind you, I said take it where it resonates because I I I, I find that if I keep saying they're doing out or readings that I'm doing, it, it it'll just hit because some people still jump in the comments. That doesn't go with me. If this not your if this not your scenario, please don't make it fit because I'm only talking to the Taurus that are in this type of energy that experience this pain, this trauma that happened in the past. Whether this is just um, with family, hell, it could be with everybody that you're just feeling like, okay, nobody's hearing Taurus right now. Nobody's hearing my voice. Nobody's loving on me and stuff like that. You got to shift your perspective. Definitely speak up and let your voice be heard. What do you want? Two, two, two. That it was just uh two, two, two. Well, twelve, twenty-two. Um, what do you want? Because see, when you get balanced and you can sit here and say, okay. This is and write this down on a piece of paper. What do you want? What are you expecting? Especially when you get in a relationship. What is your breaking point? What do you expect out of a relationship? Do you expect this person to carry themselves a certain way? What you know, and 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 set goals in a relationship that you and mind following by. Because sometimes we can set goals that are too high that we ourselves are not able to accomplish. You know, we're setting the bar real high and then expecting people to meet our expectations. And we are not even capable of meeting them expectations. So just make sure that these are rules that you will also follow by yourself. What else, Spirit? Yeah, these cards is really thick. Like, ugh. <coughs> mm. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, very protective energy, very pro uh, setting boundaries with people. Um, but I really feel like you're you're shutting off, you're closed off. You don't want to talk to nobody. Like I, I really heard that I don't like people. So when I was meditating, I was like, damn. But um, and I'm just laughing because it's like you know we get to that point to where we're just like, fuck you, fuck you, you gonna fuck you too. You okay? But you still gonna fuck you. So. We don't want to say that. <laughs> we want to reverse that F you and be like, okay, hey, I can do this. I can I can venture out in releasing um, that negativity, that negative energy, that past energy is acknowledging the problems. Getting somewhere and crying that shit out, expressing those feelings, acknowledge, okay, well, damn, this did happen. It didn't work out. Let's move forward. Because you're, with this cup being in a reverse, this is saying so much to me. So much is being blocked off right now because you have shut down. You have let this pain get to you. You have let this, this negativity, this situation, this ail that you had to take recently or in the past. But I feel like this was recently. And when I say recent, I don't mean like yesterday recent. I mean like, you know, in the past few years recent. 
um get to you you have let this really get to you and so right now seven of wands you're blocked off the two of swords you you don't care you which speaks of blocked you're just you're to yourself i heard lonely um temperance it's time to get balanced it's definitely time to um remove yourself out of this type of energy and let's move forward this queen of swords you can still be your honest loving truthful um self but definitely just stand your grounds in a peaceful way the four swords speaks of healing just exactly what i was speaking on picking up on that queen of swords standing in your truth still being honest but also coming from a healed place especially when you um i heard confront and i heard encounter definitely deal with this person that broke your heart what else spirit i heard compassion turn on Okay, page of swords. Y'all know that's my streets is talking. And then the hermit. And see, a lot of people are feeling like you are just closed off to yourself as well. So definitely, you know, people are starting to notice like, hey, this person had their guard up. They're very guarded. You know, I know this person can be this lovable ass good energy. But damn, what's what's going on? And so right now, Taurus, I feel like you're going through this phase and it's just like, fuck what where did my life go what happened life was so good at this point but now it's done tumble down but no it's it's time to get balanced and acknowledge those problems and right here with this hermit this light up here that's you you have that that good aura that good energy and all that passion and stuff like that Taurus, I, I I know I'm picking this stuff up. Like I I see it. It's just that this this time right now, this situation has definitely like brought brought you into this uh, this 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 funk energy. And it's like okay, hey, it's time to pick up the pieces. <laughs> pick up the pieces. You got tower. It's time for a change. It's time for these. It's, it's, it's spirit is saying hey and they've been trying to get your attention to point out you need to change it's time to change let's move forward let's go ahead because you have missed possibly a blessing that could have been for you this new a uh, new ace of cup of love right here baby this is that love that you really want that you looking for and see you going through this heartbreak has really humbled you it's pissed you off so fucking much because you're like, damn, I have all this fucking love to give. And this motherfucker just didn't acknowledge none of that shit. I get it. We here, Taurus. I promise you, we here. But shift your perspective. It's their loss. What did you gain? What did you learn out of this situation? Not to be so freaking loving so quick. Not to give a person your all. Because see, when you have this damn cup, and this is your cup, Taurus, and you're offering this to somebody, and here they are giving you their cup, it needs to be full too. So what you give out, you need to make sure that you're getting back. And when you do that, you would then experience this love that you're looking for. Because see, this is what you didn't get in the beginning with this past relationship. They weren't putting into your cup. They weren't fulfilling your needs. Yes, it was, and I and I heard lustful just now. Thank you, Spirit. It was more of that Queen of Wands, Queen of King, uh, Queen of Wands, King of Wands energy. <clears throat> and that's why it was more of a, on a lustful, you know, relationship. There wasn't any love there. You felt some love for this person, but it wasn't, it's not the love that you're seeking, not 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 the love that your heart wants. That's what I'm trying to say. This this situation right here, you weren't really happy. If you really just think about everything and start acknowledging everything, you love this person, but not in love. And there is a totally difference between that because when this ace right here, when your cup is being, your needs are being met, you're fulfilled. All the way around, baby, you going to trust me. You're going to know this true love right here. You're going to know this. This is spirit handing you this love right here. Like, hey, I brought you this person. You're going to know this. 
that's the reason why you went through this tough situation right here so you can um know what to look for and know what you want because see you know what love that you bring it's a matter of knowing what you want that way you can get to this love what else spirit You got the four of cups. Oof, 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 oof. See, some of y'all done passed up this ace of love, and I just said that, because here's the empress right here. You got that four of cups. That's that in that, that funk mode, because you let this empress go. The hangman. I heard you hung yourself. See? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, Taurus. Being in this blocked energy, you could have, you missed your person. You just kind of blew them off. And that's what I'm picking up on. It wasn't like you just really mean to them. It's just that you blew them off. You didn't. You didn't you didn't acknowledge them. You didn't even know because you're in this energy of like, fuck, this person did this to me in the past. I'm not letting anybody in. And spirit definitely wants you to open up more. Get back to that loving energy who you used to be. It's just learn from this situation so you definitely can grow and be prosperous in life. Because I'm definitely picking up here. Your empress came to you and you 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 know you let them go. That's that sacrifice. I feel like he was just in hermit mode to yourself and so blocked off that you just didn't even notice and acknowledge this person the four of wands is out here it say it don't get no better than this and that person felt like home to you it's just that you had your guard up like no nah, i can't do it and that high priestess your intuition was telling you but you just you said no nah, fuck it i'm not i'm not doing no more people i'm not i'm letting them go i'm not once once you get back into this loving energy, I feel like, uh, see, as soon as I said something, it will present itself again. You have the five of pentacles with the ten of swords. And also, too, you're going through a lot of changes right now. And so I feel like you felt like it wasn't a good time. But at the same time, you also need good energy around you. And it was just 22, 22 on the clock. And so that, that them too speaks of balance. Like I said, you know your value. You know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. It's a matter of, it's a matter of knowing what else and who else, this person that you're dealing with, what do they bring to the table? And so next time you get into a relationship or you meet somebody, take your time. Whether you plan on being with this person or you just want them as a friendship, a friend. You know, this friendship, friendships means a lot. That's somebody else that I feel like I take relationship serious, friendship serious, because that's somebody else that you have in your energy. Somebody that you, they're just like a dating, like you're dating somebody. My best friend, that was my girlfriend. Like, say, if we didn't get to go out and hang out, she would be getting mad. I would get mad as well. Like, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You don't have time for me. Like, we really sound like a couple, but this is just my best friend, you know? So, definitely... It's time to get back into that loving space that you was in, that you that you that you that you known for. People people are talking. They see that you are not yourself right now. So it's it's time to get back. Um, you're going through a lot of losses and changing, but it's it's definitely that that at that attitude, you know, letting the past and you can't always reflect on the past. It happened. And let's move forward. Take that L and move forward. Okay, Spirit. What do Taurus need to look for in their future as far as financially? So I was looking on their ten of fours. They are in jeopardy. Okay, we have the sun. It speaks of happiness, elimination um i heard control also that sun, sun i'm picking up the strength you have the hierophant sticking to your beliefs your needs and your wants you have the three of pentacles here you're juggling a lot right now and it's time to get everything under control eliminate what's bothering you i you know it started talking to people expressing and when you start talking and stuff like that and you meet good people 
have those conversations acknowledge those good people you know and even if you feel like they're not they're full of shit express yourself anyways because you never know who needs to hear your voice you are very important you're very loved to us so speak up so your voice can definitely be heard that emperor energy say to us okay now come on how's our finances looking i heard successful you just got to get on board you got the queen of pentacles amen to that looking very good that queen of pentacles baby you you on top of the charge um like i said you could just be going through a down moment right now just because of how hard that you love and you're not getting that same love back so now right now it seems like everything is just spiraling out of control like i said but once you get back balanced everything is going to shift you're going to notice your attitude is going to be better you're going to be starting looking good your skin is going to brighten up everything is going to be just clear you know spirit what else do we need to um talk about is there anything else I heard family when I was shuffling. Y'all, these some thick cards. We got the Ten of Cups. That's family. Eight of Wands. Three of Wands. Uh oh. Page of Pentacles. The Chariot with the Devil. I heard handouts. See, this is you. This is like you getting back on your feet. People are steady asking for stuff, needing for stuff. And this is another reason why you're in this funk of cutting off people because it's everybody wants, 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 needs, needs, needs. And they're always asking Taurus, give me, 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 give me. That's all you fucking hear. And I get it. But when Taurus needs something, where they at? Where they at? Where, where everybody at? That's this damn devil ass energy. This is another reason why you're pissed and there's this funk energy because it's like every time you get her to take off, here comes somebody with they bullshit. They need something. They holding you fucking back. And it's time spirits like no. But when you say no, don't be like, no, bitch. Just you just <laughs> We know that's what you want to say, but just like, hey, no, this ain't the time right now. And that's why that that uh where is it that queen of swords was up i think i put that sit back in the dead yes i did that's why that swore was up like hey you know hey just make sure when you say no it's from a loving space because right now i feel like your attitude is just not the best and you feel it taurus because and it's it's okay we all go through this stage right now i mean we all go through this stage at some point in time but right now it's time to get back focused get back in here because you have so many opportunities coming your way you have so many goals happiness right here you know happiness that is the ultimate goal of being happy and you are getting back to this space because like i said you got a lot of things um that are coming back around once you get balanced and possibly this relationship also you have opportunities doors new doors opening up and stuff like that i heard new job i also heard new car you have the two of wands. It's just you making the choice, you know? The faster you make this choice to get balanced and just start. Don't don't act like, okay, you're in a rush or nothing like that. Spirit just want to see the progress. Because everything, 28, 28 on the phone, everything that you have wished for, prayed for, and um, that you've been manifesting is coming to the forefront. It's right there. You're like... It's right in front of you, but it's like you're all blocked off right now because your heart's been broken so many times and you're tired of it. But it's like you're when you do that, when you get closed off like that, you block yourself from manifesting everything. And so once you shift your energy and look at things from a new perspective, okay, well, you know, I took this L or, you know, hey, so-and-so need my help. Hey, I, I really don't have it right now. I'm really just trying to get my life together. I'm really focused on me right now and trying to accomplish my goals. You know, hey, I really just need to keep my money from myself. That's all you have to tell people. And if they don't understand that, fuck them. You know what I say. Because if nobody understands that, then damn, you don't care, you know? So, hey, you definitely have to open you, open up, communicate clearly with people, and just let them know in a nice, respectable way. Like, hey, I can help you. I'm moving forward. And see right here, you have the Six of Swords with the moon cards and the six of pentacles 
that six of pentacles that's that giving and receiving because a lot of these people they just um Mm. that's six of swords what i was picking up on that moon card is just like you that hidden you're still finding ways to give to people and being there for them and see you you're not realizing Taurus that that's one of the main problems here because you're giving 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 and you're not your cup is not being refilled and so that's that's another reason why you're angry you know um, and it's not just with that relationship. I feel like it's just in general. You're just around people, you know. <laughs> you're around some negative energy. And also, too, with you being blocked, you also, you're pushing people that God is sending to you to help you and talk to you and communicate with you. You're pushing those people away. And you're like, why are these people being so fucking nice? Ain't nobody being nice to me. God is sending you people and you pushing them away. Let's not do that. We got to we got to get some balance over here cuz it's like you're giving to the wrong people. And the people that you should be giving to them are the ones that's going to be exchanging the cups back and forth. Whether this is just a relationship or a friendship, it doesn't matter. It's it's these people that's trying to come into your life. Because like I said, when we are in need, spirit sends people to us left and right. And if, if we want it, then we will receive it. If we don't want it, we block it. It's just typical. So definitely there. Um, I heard Sunrise, King of Wands. Uh, again taking action it's time to take action and move forward all right i think i'm gonna close it out there i heard one more what up there we go five of cups you're missing out mm -hmm. some of y'all are depressed right now because of um I heard neediness, so many people's need for you, pulling you this way, this way, this way, this way. And that's that funk that I was talking about, that that that, that funk, I, that's that energy. That, and it's not just, and I don't want to say ev just like you're projecting negative energy. It's like that down, you know, depression mode, like the five of cups. It's like the many losses and stuff like that. But it's like, don't focus on the loss, focus on um the positivity shift your mindset look at things from a different perspective because rejection is protection god protects you from these people the things that you wasn't getting out of these people that hurt your feelings or that you um that really just blocked you off in the past those are the people that you need to set brown boundaries with and the people that that you have seen that you've talked that you've met that you've uh was able to talk to and communicate with that you actually like those are the people that God sent to you say, hey, look at things from a different perspective. Then the people that don't mean you no harm. Those are your those those are your soul tribe. That's your like that's your that's your family right there. Them the them the empaths. We just we just alike around here. We all done went through a dark night of the soul. And I feel like that's what you're that's what you're going through. Cause like I said, God has a bigger calling on your name. And he's like, get your ass up. You got shit to do. <laughs> cause if it was him talking it's like uh uh but I'm bringing it to you the nice, nice way cause I feel like you've already just then had your heart broken so much and you're just like oh my gosh what the fuck not again but I'm here to say hey let's get up try it again but this time pay attention to people don't treat everybody the same because everybody's not the same God watch, watch the paths that you cross because God is really sending you people in your life to show you it is still good hearted people out there. You just have to make sure your heart and energy is right. And and it's and with with that being said, with making sure your heart and energy energy is right, releasing that pain. Because Taurus, I know you got energy. Like, I know you love him. Like I'm 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 picking it up. 
this this cup right here is too much you know um this is and i'm not saying too much i mean like it's a lot of love this is too much love to give like this is i want this love you know <laughs> but it's just like hey with this being a reverse it's like uh-uh somebody's done, just done fucked it up you know hey but it is what it is we gonna take this l and we gonna move forward that's all we can do the past is the past hell i done spent 35 minutes on this reading i can't go back to 35 minutes ago when i started this reading that's the past it's already in the past it's time to move forward all right y'all take it easy and remember communicate communicate from the heart speak up for yourself and just know that spirit is always here to help you. They're sending guidance to help you. They're sending people to to help you um, throughout your journey. Things that you need help with. Things that you've been trying to manifest. Just know that spirit is always here helping you. I love y'all so much. Stay prayed up and protect your energies. And let's get balanced and move forward. All right, y'all. Goodbye.